So I've got uh, several graduate students, some of whom who are working very hard writing up theses, doctoral theses at the moment, but some of them are actually out at the European Laboratory of Particle Physics at the moment, out at CERN. And so they spend their time, uh, some of their time here in Merton in our beautiful gardens and eating uh, their dinners in old uh, 13th century halls, and some of their time at the world's highest technology particle physics laboratory. And I think they rather enjoy both aspects of that work. It's a very old and nice place. We have this nice gardens, a formal hall. Another thing I really value is the opportunity to dine with professors at high table. Like usually professors in the older colleges are separated from the students, which means um, you never get to know postdocs, fellows of professors of the college. And Merton gives us the opportunity to mingle a bit. Within the graduate community, where near 70% are going to be international students, not from the United Kingdom. Many of those will come from the European Union, uh, but a lot of them come from the United States. We have students from Africa, from East Asia, South Asia, South America, Australia. All, of, all corners of the globe are, are represented, and it's a very diverse cosmopolitan place. The, the graduate community, our MCR, uh, is very strong MCR in that they make a lot of effort to reach out, create events that engage people, very diverse events, and make sure that they, you know, go out and actually make contact. It's not only cocktail parties, but now we've also got the veg patch, yes. <laughs> and we've got a liter literature forum, things which are completely different as well. I think I've had many more opportunities here to uh, get involved in committees and try and run organisations and run things in the college, um, and also con contribute to things going on around me. Um, and then also academically, I think I've developed a lot quicker with the amount of supervision and contact time I've had with my supervisor and coupled with the space I've had independently to develop um, with my work. Um, I think Merton's uh, been particularly good as a college at funding my actual, my sort of ongoing research. Um, I've incurred a lot of travel costs in my research in Northern Ireland um, and Merton's been able to provide me enough money to sort of cover all my flights and all my accommodation. It's a very vibrant community with a uh, very active student society in classics that invites external speakers but also actually gets some of our own graduate students to present papers on their current research so there's actually a genuine interest from the undergraduates in what the graduates are doing. So there's the history of the book group um, which just had a, a group of presentations from people from the SCR and also members of the MCR and also one JCR member, I think. Yeah, that was really nice. Um, there's Global Directions. The size of the graduate population at Merton um, and the active MCR um, really attracted me to Merton. Um, but then also the mixture of having, having a good undergraduate base as well um, made the college very attractive just because it meant it had lots of facilities. Um, and then I think I also looked at kind of the accommodation um, both quality and the cost, and it was the best choice really in the university. And it's great to live together with many other graduates. Again, in most other colleges, you will just live somewhere out in town with mm. perhaps two or three other people, but here there's hundred mm. odd graduate students yes. all living together. It's all connected up nicely. The, the graduate accommodation at, at Merton is fantastic. Mm.